Hi everybody! Yes, you are seeing this right. I am recording in my room again. So that means my laptop is back. Yay! So I actually got uh, my laptop back today when I'm recording this because uh, yeah, they called me when I was in Spain on vacation and they were like, yeah, your laptop's fixed. Can you come and get it? I'm like, I'm in Spain. No. <laughs> so um, I got free day today that I could actually do stuff so what I decided was get my laptop and record immediately so I'm, I'm super happy that I have it back I have my space again I can do whatever I want when it comes to recording right now so that's really good it's like it's less stress for me so for me that's really good so uh, yeah this is gonna be a vlog kind of video if you haven't noticed already but uh, I just kind of wanted to talk about stuff that has happened I guess um, sorry for the noise outside like that but it's pretty busy outside right now and there's not really anything I can do about it because the walls are pretty thin here so that's what happens <sighs> there's always something I guess <laughs> anyways uh, so Spain was a lot of fun I went there for a week I went to Barcelona first for a few days and after that we went to Valencia and I went there with my friend Tess and it was a lot of fun it was interesting to see how they live there and I don't know how how people are there because um, I think uh, especially in Barcelona people are very rude and just like I don't know they would just walk you over and uh, so to be honest Barcelona was beautiful to see like some places but I didn't really like the atmosphere of the city but we went to Valencia afterwards and Valencia was so much better for me because everyone was friendly that we met um, a lot of people seemed to be speaking English too there which was good there's a lot of students there too um, that was very noticeable and I don't know it was just a lot nicer it, the weather was nicer as well in Valencia because when we left in Barcelona it started to rain and there was actually like a thunderstorm <laughs> the night like before we had to leave so we were like okay this is the perfect timing for us to leave to Valencia and have some very good weather and that is what happened so um we met a lot of great people there um that I will probably see back very soon as well like people who are just traveling the world which I think is awesome um, and because of that it kind of made me think about my life like how my life is right now those people are enjoying their lives traveling getting to know new people and I think that is just awesome and beautiful and that is something that I've always wanted to do so um, because of that I was like I'm not very happy with my job right now I'm not very happy with working in retail I think that's a better way to say it because my job is not bad um, the people are great like I love the people who I'm working with it's uh, fun to work with them but the job itself is something that I don't see doing in like five years I don't want to keep working in retail for five more years or even more I don't I just don't want to do that because there's too much stress on me because of the job and I just feel unhappy whenever I get home from work because I'm like I feel like I wasted a day doing work I don't like and I don't know the people like going on vacation really made me realize that um I guess that's a good thing and a bad thing <laughs> because I'm still in retail obviously but I do have a plan now which I kind of want to tell you guys about so the plan is of course I'm not gonna quit YouTube uh, I'm gonna keep doing YouTube of course because to be honest YouTube is the only thing kind of keeping me going in life uh, that and my boyfriend and like some family members and friends but mostly YouTube is a thing that I love to do during the week or weekends when I don't have anything else to do you know because I do work part-time so I do have a lot of free time and I do like my free time I watch stuff to talk about on YouTube or I just make YouTube videos um, or I do research about stuff that I want to talk about so that's basically what I do and I have to admit I love it like I wish I could do this full-time but um, I'm realistic and I know this is not possible to do full-time at least not right now but I don't feel like that's ever going to be the case so <laughs> what I'm going to do and this might be 
weird that this is just like suddenly coming up. Um, I'm planning to quit my job in January. Not quit because my contract ends in January and then I can uh, choose if I want to go on with it or if I just want to stop working there. So I'm going to stop working in January. Again, nothing against the people I'm working with or the place I'm working at. Um, they are great. It's just the job itself is just not something for me. And I've been working in retail for way too long. Um, so that's the plan. When I quit there, I'm gonna be home for a month trying to figure out all my stuff, get all of my shit together. After that month will be March. In March, I will be going to Korea. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, oh, it's so weird to say. I'll be going to Korea in March for like two to three months and I'm gonna work there. So, uh, it's not a hundred percent yet, but the fact that I am going to Korea is for me already a hundred percent. I am, I am going there no matter what. It's gonna depend how long if I do get the job or not. Um, I had, uh, a nice talk with the people at the job it's a volunteering uh, job by the way so i will be volunteering to work at a i'm just saying everything <laughs> like um this is confusing for you guys probably anyways uh let's start from the top okay so i um i looked for a job abroad and i've always wanted to work in hostels because i always stay in hostels when i go on vacation and I just think the atmosphere is great and you have people from all around the world and it's just fun to connect with them, talk to them. Um, so I've always wanted to do that. I know you don't really earn money with that. So most people are just volunteering to do that. So I was looking for a job like that. And then I found this website that had a job in Korea, in Busan. And it was in a language cafe, which I think was very interesting. I looked up what it was and apparently it is for me to teach Korean people English. And I was like, that is perfect because, you know, my English isn't a hundred percent perfect, but you know, I know the basics. I know everything. I can have a conversation with anyone in English. So I applied. Um, it was very scary for me to do because I was like, should I do this? Because this is a big step. Um, but I did. And I got back from them like the same night or the day after. I'm not too sure. I checked out my emails the day afterwards and they were like, oh, cool. There's still a spot open in March if you want to. So just hit us up on Skype and we can call and see how it goes. So this morning I actually called with the manager. He was very lovely and friendly about everything, which made me even more excited to actually go there. And yeah, I, I, th I think it went well. Like <laughs> he was pretty positive about stuff. So was I, um, I like everything they're doing so far, but I can't say too much about it yet, but you know, a language cafe in Busan, Korea, me working there as a volunteer, that would be so amazing and it would be something i need right now because um when i got back from spain i just got super down because i realized i'm not happy here in belgium right now not with my job um and just what i'm doing in life in general uh mostly my my job like the working is just like i don't know it's it feels like wasting time i'll just say it like that because it doesn't pay too well either, so it's not like I can do so much stuff with the money I earn from work. So, yeah, I I got really down. You might have noticed that on Twitter. And, um, yeah, I don't know. This is a good start for me. I hope I get the job. We'll see about it. I will update you guys uh, when I do hear from them and if it is confirmed or not. But... I, this is really exciting for me. This was like the step I had to take to be excited about life again because I didn't have any hopes at all anymore. The only like person who really, really made me happy every week was my boyfriend. Just seeing him back every week was like, yes, this is what I was waiting for because, you know, um, my job isn't perfect and I didn't have time for YouTube because my laptop was broken and I couldn't do anything and I was just like, ah, so frustrated. Uh, but now everything is going so much better because of that. I actually have a plan, which is so good to me, even though it's only for like two or three months, at least I have a plan 
until like May or June, uh, which is good because otherwise I would have been at this job and be like, what should I do? Should I look for another job in retail or should I just keep going and just kind of be sad all the time? You know, it's kind of like that. So yeah, <laughs> sorry for ranting. I feel like I'm ranting a lot, but yeah, I kind of want to update you guys about that. So you know that now. Um, more info later, I guess, about the job, but I'm definitely going to Korea anyways. Uh, if I don't get the job, I'm not going to say as long because, of course, I need to pay for stuff. But if I do get the job, I will say they're long because I would get uh, betting like um, a, a com blah, 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 blah. I can't, can't talk. I would have a place to sleep <laughs> and I would get food uh, during midday and evening too. So, um, you know, that would be pretty cheap for me and it would be fun because I would get to know new people and stuff. Um, so yeah, that is kind of it for that. I see I'm getting red here. It's just, ooh, why? It's not the other, okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna ask questions anyway. Um, I hope you guys been doing good though. I'm sorry for not being able to record, but you, you guys all know what was up. I was on, on vacation and the, the, freaking laptop broke and then the program the logitech program on my uh computer broke funny story it's working again now like i had my laptop back today and i look at my desktop and i'm like i'm gonna check out if the logitech program works again and it worked again and i was like this is like wh what's happening like everything's working again this is beautiful like <laughs> i have hope again so yeah that happened so yeah um Another thing I wanted to tell you guys, since I haven't been posting too much lately, I am going to live stream tomorrow because oh, I've been promising it for months on Patreon and I've never done it. So I feel super guilty about it. Tomorrow I have half a day of work so I can actually do a live stream tomorrow, <laughs> which is good. So it will be just a Q&A hanging out. Uh, I'll tell you guys what I've been up to and all that stuff. Um, I'm afraid you won't be able to ask too much questions about anime because I haven't been watching anime at all. I haven't had the time because either I wasn't in the mood to watch anime, I still need to finish like everything from last season almost. I only finished like three, three anime I think. So yeah, there's a lot I still need to finish. Um, but I did start a, a drama, a Korean drama, which every episode is one hour. So I've watched like 13 episodes of that, so that took in a lot of time for me. <laughs> then um, I've been playing the Mystic Messenger game a lot, so that takes a lot of time from me. And I've been listening to the new BTS album and checking out so much YouTube videos about the new the new K-pop songs that came out because I'm not up to date at all at this moment. And I do need to record a new K-pod. Um, soon so um that's the plan at least and then i need to record a new bishon no yo bedashi with ebby whenever we both have the time and record a new double team with miana of course so i have a, a lot planned so you can look forward to that but first up will be the live stream so you guys can look forward to that tomorrow it will be at 10 p.m central european time so i'll put that in the description below i will tweet it out as well it will be on my youtube because it's been too long that I've streamed on YouTube. So um, that's going to be the thing that is happening. So yeah, I guess that is kind of my update uh, on life and what I've been up to. That's about it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate it. Thank you guys again for supporting me on Patreon because it really helped me out for fixing my laptop. And I'm really grateful. So thank you so much. Um, if you still want to support me, you can still... Support me on Patreon, even if it's only one or five dollars or euros. I don't know how it will be for you. It doesn't matter. Everything helps. So thank you guys so much. I will see you soon. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe. There will be more content later and uh, streams on Twitch. I will try to do that as well. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and that guy's making noise. Yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.